Film jammers. Shalom, film jammers. So you wrote your script, you finished editing your masterpiece, now it's time for the edit. So create a new sequence, because we've got five editing tips to make you faster in Adobe Premiere Pro. Having clean and consistent audio levels is key to making a video. Now, when you get all your footage into Premiere, your sound levels can often be all over the place. I used to use keyframes for editing my sound, but I found a really quick way to adjust the levels is just to make a cut in the audio track and then adjust the gain using a keyboard shortcut. I have my gain set to the G key, and then from there you can actually go up or down with your gain. Then I'll add a dissolve in the audio track to smooth it out if needed. You can really do a quick mix of your tracks with this method and get all your audio levels balanced quickly without using any keyframes. Using adjustment layers to color correct. If you're looking to add a quick color correction, rather than applying your color correction to each clip one by one on your sequence, using an adjustment layer allows you to adjust the color of multiple clips at once. Make sure the adjustment layer is above any clips you want it to affect in your timeline, then simply apply your color correction to the adjustment layer, and you'll see that every clip under it will now have that effect applied. Sometimes I use this as a quick way to add a look to my video, or even a film grain effect like Film Convert. Or if you wanted to see your whole film in black and white, for example, this is a really fast way to preview that. Nesting sequences. When working on bigger projects with a lot of layers, timelines can quickly get cluttered and hard to navigate. So creating nests can speed up your workflow. A nest basically groups certain layers and tracks together into one track. You can then apply effects to this nest in the sequence all at once. This is also useful if you want to add a transition between two sections with multiple tracks or layers. You can nest the layers into one track so the transition, like a wipe or a push, applies correctly. Getting acquainted with some Premiere Pro shortcuts. Getting acquainted with some of Premiere Pro's keyboard shortcuts will help you quickly navigate your timeline and speed up your editing process. For example, if you select a clip and use the nudge shortcut, which is command plus left or command plus right, this will nudge the clip, meaning the clip will be shifted one frame to the left or right, respectively. So using the nudge shortcut is a nice alternative to using the mouse, which can sometimes be harder to make those single frame adjustments. Another useful shortcut is the go to next or previous edit point. This shortcut will move the playhead in your timeline to the next cut. Pressing the up arrow key will move forward to the next edit point, and pressing the down arrow key will move to the previous cut. This is a nice way to move around your timeline quickly without having to use the mouse. Note, this only works on tracks that are highlighted unless you adjust your preferences to go to tracks that are also turned off. Efficiently copying and pasting. Copying and pasting may seem like a simple process, but there are ways to make it more efficient. By toggling your track targeting, this allows you to paste clips on whichever track you'd like. To really speed up your copying and pasting, try mapping your track numbers as shortcuts to the number keys on your keyboard. This way, you can quickly access the track you want to paste to and speed up your workflow even more. Command C, Command V never looks so good. Well, we hope these editing tips will help speed up your post-production workflow. Let us know in the comments any other tricks or shortcuts you might use to speed up your editing game. And don't forget to like and subscribe with new videos every Friday. This one's not gonna be funny. Can we just cut to B-roll of ninjas right now?